Welcome back to More Bang for Your Buck channel. Uh, if you are new to this channel, welcome to the channel. And to all my subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing to this channel. We are almost reaching to 400 subscribers. So thank you very much. But anyway, uh, today, we uh, last week I was uh, building the bed platform for this uh compact car right so <clears throat> I was gonna have the bed on this side but I decided to move this platform for uh, the bed platform from here to this side and then for and then today we're gonna focus on uh, window covering and storage so a lot of you might have a question why Tim why don't you build you know the storage under the you know the cover over there i will take you there and take a look at it why i will not build a, a platform back there all right well, this is the 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 rear area of the my 2012 Scion xd so you might wonder what's under this mat okay let's check out so you take out the mat, the car, the carpet. You will see this. So what it does, you have this kind of a form, form with the foam that that fit in here. So you, so you have some some storage, not a whole lot, you know, not a whole lot. But let's find out what's under this thing, okay? So this is what it looked like. This uh, pre-form foam. What it does is cover up this area, which is not a whole lot of storage that you can gain from here. See how high this is? So even if I build a platform here, I only gain a little bit of storage around here. And you can see the uh, that platform right there. So you only have a platform right here. So you only have storage around here and a little bit. But you know, in order to get anything out here, you have to lift up the platform. So, why? I'm not gonna bother with that. So on this build, I determined not to build too much, very little. As a matter of fact, I'm only building a see that little bed platform right there, extension, and the window cover. That's it. So let's check out what it look like with uh, with the bed and the window cover put in all right all right i'm inside a vehicle right now it's set up in a sleeping mode so i have all the window covering put on right the rear one left side the front one i always have that so if at night time i would probably flip that thing around instead of silver facing outside i would put the black facing outside in the front, I mean on the right. So this is my sleeping uh, mode right now. So the bed is in. So I moved the bed from this side where I'm sitting at. It used to be on this side, but now I move it to this side. That way I will never have, I don't have to move this uh, bed all the time. All I have to do is just flip the seat over. Just tilt this back you know how this is movable so you just lean the back and push back and go and actually in order to cook i have to move the bed out of the way anyway and have this platform here to cook on this surface right here so let's check out how let me show you how i made the reflectors pretty easy i bought a roll for 15 dollars and then i barely used not even half of it yet oh is it hot it is hot outside it's like 90 degree outside so i just put this against use a little uh, black marker and trace around it and then what you need to do is leave about half inch extra where you uh, let me see if they still have the line i drawn because all you really have to do is do one side and then you copy out the other side i think this is the copy side so leave about half inch here so you can these are actually bubble wrap with a silver lining. 
So you just push it out. I already see the problem with this. It's fine when it's cold outside, but if you have to crack or uh, the uh, door a little bit open, then you know it's obvious to somebody that you sleep inside the car. So I have fabric. I can probably make this black this out. I have a black uh, fabric that I can put on here and black it out. But now I don't care. You know, and if I'm parked in the middle of nowhere, nobody care. But if you are in the city, that's a different story. So, so we already take a look at how I do the window covering. So let's take a look. What about my story, right? Because this is a small vehicle. Let's find out what kind of story I'm using beside my uh, duffel bag that I saw in my previous video. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and check it up here. I will put it up here. All right. So right now you're looking at my lounging area. I cannot stress enough in a small area or a small vehicle, you need to have a lounging area. This is your focus point right here. Cause everything will happen here when you try to be low profile in your vehicle, you know, anywhere, especially if you're in the city. So let's go take a look on the other side, all right? So this is how much room I have to work with in here. And this including doing my number one, number two. So, but you ask, where's your emergency toilet? Well, here it is. I will show you how I will use this as my number two in another video. For now, this is where my toilet, my, port my emergency portable toilet is going to stay. So let's check it out from the inside where all my storage is going to be. First of all, this is uh, before I play, I used this as my main storage for clothing. But this turned out to be uh, my auxiliary one if needed. So I found something on Amazon that worked out really good. So let's check it out. See these boxes? They are full flat. And then right now you have my, my you know, cow cut. I just bought this. It's a $15. It came in, I will put that in the link below the video. So right now you're looking at 10 day worth of uh, t-shirt, underwear, socks, two short. See, I'm a t-shirt and short guy. Uh, this is pretty much all I need. 10 day worth of clothes right here. And if I need, to have pan stuff like that I will probably put them in here and all my uh, jacket or collar t-shirt I don't really like collar t-shirt but you know some places they need you to wear decent clothes so I will put this on so I have my uh, kind of heavy stuff here how did I how did I gain this I bought this curtain rod from Walmart for I don't know what, almost seven bucks. So I'm I'm using this as to hang my clothes. But doesn't that bother you when you sleep in? No, it doesn't. Check it out. All I have to do when I'm sleeping, just move it over here. Cause when I'm not in the seat, chance I do in the bed or outside the car, right? But when I wake up in the morning, I just slide it right over there, out of the way. So my, my lounging area is wide open. So back here is my all my cooking. Uh, so I narrow it down to one uh, meal crate, which is all my cooking stuff right here, which is easy accessible from there. You gotta remember, if I have to cook, this is my cooking surface. So I, I either move that out of the way or cook it in front here. I only do this if the weather is bad outside, but otherwise I would cook outside. This is my emergency cooking surface. That's it. That's my store. Oh, actually, let me show you what else I have in the front. So, I remember I said it's $15. It comes with six piece total. And these things are pretty neat. Let me show you. Because these things, they will fit if whatever you don't need. You just uh, stack stack them together like this. 
right? And guess what? These two will fit into that big one in the back. But the more beautiful thing about this is what, check this out. I will stop you and I will come back what it look like. I'm gonna take one out just to show you how this thing collapsed down to a flat area, right? So see inside here, you pull this out, you collapse it. See how this go? Same thing. Collapse. Pretty neat. For $15, I can't believe it. See, you see how it works? Everything become flat. So when you don't need them, you just flatten them out and put them away. But uh, that's it. That's my uh, window covering and my storage. That's how I plan to bring stuff. So I, when I finish, when I start taking a trip, I will do an actual uh, car camper tour with everything in it to show you, you know, what you can do with a small car to go uh, camping or travel on a road tripping. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video, which I will show you how I make that chair that I saw previously into my little portable party. All right, thank you. Take care now. Hey, so here's a bonus clip how I fold my shirt and make it really quick folding a t-shirt. So you divide this into a, you know, half right here, a quarter. So a quarter right here, halfway through the shirt. You lift this up, you pinch this, turn this, and you fold over. So normally I would fold it in, in half, and that's good to go, right? Put it in my neck. But since I'm packing for uh, going on a trip in a tight vehicle, so I just put my uh, under short here, roll it, and put it in here. See right here, one, two, three, so I have space for another four, five, eight total. Eight day worth of, uh, of uh, undershirt and, and short. It's ready to go. And the beauty thing is, this will fit inside my dresser. So I can leave it like this, put it in the dresser, and then when I go, I just grab the box. Check this out. So as you can see, that's how it fits inside a dresser. So when you... Get ready to travel, just take the whole container and put it inside a vehicle.